Exodus 9, let's call this one plead for me because Pharaoh, even though he is going to see in Moses an adversary, he is going to say to Moses, plead for me to God that the plague might stop. He's going to say that at least three times. But the interesting thing is that at least three times, he's going to offer a qualified request for mercy. See, as soon as the plague stops, he's often going to have a change of heart. And this is even when God has not stepped in to harden his heart, as we talked about before. God promised he was going to harden Pharaoh's heart at a point, but up until that point, Pharaoh was going to harden his own. And in seeing his response to mercy, we get an insight as to how Pharaoh goes about that. See, um, he's going to bargain with the number of Israelites that get to go worship God. He's going to bargain with how far they get to go, etc., etc. Never fully yielding himself to the thing that God has asked him to do. And oh my goodness, is that not a lesson for us? Once again, it helps us not only to identify with the oppressed or the heroes in a particular story. Again, understand there are no pure heroes in the story other than Jesus. We try often to identify with the best possible character in a story, but we learn more we can, when we can identify with multiple perspectives. And insofar as we can identify our own tendencies to bargain with God, we can understand how badly things turn out for Pharaoh and how badly they can turn out for us when we do the same thing. As they say, the devil is in the details and it may be akin to something we've come to call a Freudian slip when he says, plead for me each time. Pharaoh is literally telling you in his plea what's really on his heart. He just wants relief for himself. Likewise, for us, we need to do a self-examination so that at least if we have not developed a genuine heart for the people we have wronged, we can understand why our suffering, when God is dragging us through suffering that's related to our own wrongdoing, when it's related to our wrongdoing, that's not always the case, but when it is, we can at least learn to shorten the days of our suffering by being honest with ourselves about why we want relief to the degree we aren't truly sympathetic for the people we've hurt. And so ultimately, uh, we fake it till we make it. We've used the video before where that doesn't work. There are times when God sees through that tendency to fake it and he will lead us into prolonged recurrent plagues, much like he's leading Egypt into here until we finally get it. When he says all, he means all. And so when he was talking about letting my children go, it wasn't part of them. It wasn't going half of the distance he had asked for them to go. It was asking all the children to be free the entire distance he wanted them to go. And so Pharaoh bargaining ultimately only ended up in Pharaoh dying, ultimately with us. It doesn't have to lead to death, but our prolonged suffering can often have to do with situations where we're not being honest with either ourselves or God, but we're still negotiating in situations where he's demanded our all.